Look at this delicious chocolate bar. I wonder if I should eat it. Hmm. And that's Whoa. my cue. Who are you? I am the id. I want pleasure, and I want it now. Uh, that's kind of creepy. Speaking of creepy, I was down in your subconscious, and I noticed you had a chocolate bar. I don't know if you knew this about me, but I love chocolate. I think you should eat it. Well, you know, I was thinking about eating it. What do you mean, thinking about eating it? Let me tell you how this works. I'm just going to keep putting pressure on you until you uh. eat that chocolate bar. And since I'm such a nice id, once you eat it, I'll give you a feeling of release. Ah, uh, yes. Yikes! Whoa, what are you doing with that chocolate bar? You don't want to eat that. I am the superego, and I demand moral perfection. Well, I don't know, nobody's perfect. Pleasure is bad, so you definitely don't want to eat that chocolate bar. I would suggest a delicious salad instead. Hmm, salad or chocolate bar? Mm, I think I'll go with the chocolate bar. Looks like we got a tough guy here. Well, how about this? If you eat that chocolate bar, I'll punish you with shame. 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 Mm. Shame. Ugh. Or, if you do the right thing and eat the salad, I'll reward you with pride. Mmm. Chocolate tastes a lot better than pride. Trust me on that one. You do make a good point there. I've got the solution. I'll have a salad for lunch, and I'll have half a chocolate bar for dessert. What do you think, guys? Is that good for you? Well, I'm not really crazy about the salad thing, but at least I'm getting half of a chocolate bar. I know what you're going to say. Strong ego has to keep a super ego and the id balanced. Whatever. Well, I would prefer zero chocolate bar, but at least you're having the salad. So we're cool. Yeah, I guess we're cool, but I'll be back. Yeah, I guess we're cool for now. All right. Welcome to Genius Coaching. But what is a genius? It's a person who's really smart, right? True. But there's also an ancient meaning behind the word. It all started in ancient Rome. The Romans believed that everyone was born with a guiding spirit. The purpose of this spirit was to give people their abilities, their talents. So, if you are really smart, it was because you had a genius who endowed you with that ability. Over time, the meaning changed, with abilities like intelligence being thought of as part of your personality. So rather than having a genius, you yourself became a genius. The ancient meaning behind the word genius is the reason why my services are called genius coaching. A genius is a guide who empowers you, and it's only right that you should feel empowered. After all, we are all equal as human beings. We all have the same ability to be happy and fulfill our needs. And my purpose is to give you the tools to awaken your abilities. It's so common that we get trapped by negative thinking. We get intimidated. We feel weakened by stress. We become anxious and get depressed. And once you get caught up in that negative thinking, you feel like that's who you are. But it's not who you are. This is why it's so useful to have a coach. Someone who can see you without limitations and guide you into the light of your own inner potential. If you'd like to talk to me, all you need to do is head over to the Genius Coaching Facebook page and say hello. Thank you for watching and enjoy your day.